Good morning. This is your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Seeing some warm conditions out there this morning with some filtered sunshine coming through. Some high clouds, mainly what we're seeing out there at the moment. But uh, starting off on the warm side and expecting warm conditions to continue before we see some showers and storms in the area later this evening. If we take a look at the current surface analysis, we have a cold front off to the west that will be approaching the area as we get late into the afternoon and into the evening and overnight hours. That's what's going to bring some showers and storm activity through the area and likely stall out just south of the area, keeping some moisture around as we go into the day on Friday is the way things are looking at the moment. Take a look at the upper level winds from this morning sounding. We have some west southwesterly winds to westerly winds mainly through the entire column. Uh, winds around 30 knots in the lowest levels, uh, weakening a bit in the mid levels and then uh, peaking back up 25 to 35 knots with our peak wind to 35 knots to 20,000 feet and the freezing levels at 13,200 feet. If we take a look at the current visible satellite, we can see uh, an increase in those high clouds from this morning's briefing. So uh, overall mostly cloudy, but we do have some filtered sunshine coming through. Uh, and we see very warm temperatures in the 70s across the peninsula here uh, with a light s south to southwesterly breeze across the region as well. If we take a look at the short-term high-resolution model, as we go through most of the day today, we'll see dry conditions uh, continue, and then as we get into the later part of the afternoon, could see a few uh, isolated showers try to get going out of the head of the main activity, but uh, nonetheless, we'll see the main activity moving through around uh, or thereafter 20 local this evening, uh, with a good chance of seeing uh, scattered showers and storms moving through could see a few stronger storms embedded within this uh, the storm prediction center does have us under a slight risk for severe weather mainly concerning with uh, some stronger wind gusts associated with some of these storms so this should push through the area and we should see uh, storm chances start to taper down in the early morning hours on friday with continued lingering showers or sprinkles around continuing through today on friday we'll see cooler temperatures moving in behind the front uh, with wind shifting out of the northwest, slightly breezy. Uh, and again, we'll keep those chances of light rain or sprinkles around as we go through much of the day on Friday. We should see things start to dry out as we go through the overnight Friday evening and continuing into the day on Saturday. If we zoom out, take a look at the longer term forecast, we see that boundary stalls south of the area. Do get some disturbed weather developing over the southeast part of the country. On Saturday, the GFS model actually has some of this moisture further north, making it into the region. So we'll see a very slight chance of maybe a few sprinkles, uh, maybe even a light shower in the area for the day Friday, but just a very slight chance at the moment. Overall, we'll just see cloudy conditions uh, and continued cooler conditions as well as we go through today on Saturday. Going into Sunday, we'll see the disturbed weather move off the coast and clear out of the area. We'll see high pressure start to lock in over the region and we'll see a clearing skies as we go through the day on Sunday and setting up for high pressure to build in over the mid-Atlantic and much of the eastern part of the country to start next week, uh, bringing us some seasonable conditions and some quite pleasant conditions and dry overall as we move through most of the week next week, continuing through midweek and into uh, the second half of the week. As we get towards the second half of the week, models indicating a little weak area of low pressure developing along the Gulf Coast. Uh, right now that has the potential of bringing some moisture up into the mid-Atlantic region for the weekend, but again, that's over 200 hours out, so uh, not completely confident in that output at the moment, but uh, we'll see how that develops as we go through next week. But overall, next week looking very nice and seasonable. If we take a look at the 24-hour weather risk chart for today, we are green for our weather risk for much of the working hours today. We'll see uh, very warm temperatures, expecting a high around 78. We'll see a uh, south-southwesterly breeze, 9 to 14 knots, gusting up to 19 knots. And as we get past the 1600 local time frame, we'll see a slight chance to chance of showers start to increase uh, through that window there. So we pick up a yellow chance for precip and about a 20% chance for lightning. And we'll see those winds start to become a bit more gusty as well, gusting up to 21 knots. So we'll pick up a yellow risk for winds that are above 25 knots. And as we get towards that 20 local time frame, we'll have that uh, there's rain showers and thunderstorms becoming likely 
as we go through that time frame there. So picking up a red risk for precip and orange for that lightning chance, looking at about 60% chance of lightning in the area, and continue with the yellow risk for winds at about 25 knots, as well as reduced ceilings and visibilities. And then we'll see uh, that activity taper down a little bit as we go through the morning hours for Friday, so dropping down the yellow risk across the board for, th for that, and keeping uh, a 20% chance of lightning in the area until about 4 a.m., and then we'll see uh, just some lingering showers possible as we get into the day on Friday. Tides are running normal at the moment. We'll see mild temperatures overall for Friday morning, but we'll see some a cooling trend as we go into the day on Friday. So our overnight low will be around 50 degrees, so which is above average for this time of year, but we'll see a chillier day overall for Friday uh, with winds out of the north. We look next couple days Friday looking cloudy. We'll keep that chance of lingering light rain showers or sprinkles through the day so we do have that yellow chance for precip and we'll have a slight breeze early and on the cooler side have a high here of 56 that may be optimistic and likely earlier in the day uh, as things continue to trend towards a weather wetter and cloudier solution for friday uh, could see a struggle to get to that 56 level uh, best chance of that would be early but uh so overall a cooler day and cooler conditions continue into Friday evening, continue cloudy conditions, but a more seasonable low with a low around 42 degrees. We'll see a slight breeze pick up as we approach the daytime hours on Saturday, so we pick up a yellow risk for winds that are above 25 knots. And we'll keep that slightly breezy conditions around for Saturday, uh, keeping that yellow risk for winds that are above 25 knots. But otherwise, a cloudy day once again for Saturday. Uh, cooler as well with a high just around 52 degrees and again a very slight chance of seeing some light rain or sprinkles in the area if that moisture from that disturbed weather makes it up uh, into the region. If we look at the extended forecast here as we go into Sunday again we'll see that clearing trend with the sun starting to uh, show more as we get later in the day. We'll see slightly breezy conditions uh, starting off with a seasonable low around 41 and a high around 54 degrees and then going into next week, we'll see very nice and seasonable conditions with high pressure and control. We'll have a mix of partly cloudy and mostly sunny days through the first half of the week. We'll see fairly seasonable temperatures, highs of 60 on Monday and 64 on Tuesday. Seasonable lows around 41, 42 for Monday and Tuesday as well. As we get into Wednesday, we'll see a slightly warmer trend uh, with partly cloudy and mostly sunny conditions. but. Uh, a high around 70 degrees and a low uh, elevated around 49 degrees as well so a nicer day uh, warmer wise on Wednesday. Well that will wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 at 10 a.m. Otherwise enjoy the rest of your day.